GTI focuses very much on the applied learning concept when it comes to teaching and learning. We believe very strongly that students actually perform to the best of their ability when they are put into a situation where they practice what they learn. And when they do that actually on a continuous basis, then you have continuous development of skills. I think the day of the chalk and talk standing at the top of the room is gone. In terms of class learning and in terms of teaching, I, I would break them up into groups. Many heads are better than one, that you're able to bounce ideas off each other, someone might have a different idea on something else and they're able to work around it and they learn together. Coding is extremely important, you wouldn't think it, and coming into this, I wasn't looking at, uh, at car park machines and thinking what's working behind the mechanics in it, but it's code at the end of the day, it all comes back to code. Any program that you work with on a computer, it's all written in code that, that we're learning here obviously and that we can implement then in, in our future studies and our future business ventures. We set direction, we give them some instructions and then immediately they're practicing it. So rather than them sitting in a passive learning environment where they're just listening to the teacher talking and giving instructions, they would be given a couple of smaller instructions and then immediately they're putting into practice exactly what they're learning. So we have to create like an app with like five, five or so different pages at the front and then that was pretty cool like because I've shown people it like you know that I had created an actual usable app so like for one frame or one page it would be like uh, restaurants and so you could like see the restaurant name and then like a small description and then you could click on the name and then that would bring you to like uh, a website of the restaurant so you could like see their menu and stuff and I tried to like use the link where it'd be like on the menu so once you went into it instead of just getting the home page you'd just be straight to the menu and um, that was really cool because you know you see apps every day but like you don't actually think you'd be able to make one like so yeah that would be something that I was quite proud of. Our learners use a lot of the mobile devices outside of the classroom they're constantly with them they're constantly able to play around with apps, become experts in the whole app area, the Google Drive, there's their course content on it. We're able to distribute our content to them. If we want to email them about something, again, their emails are on the phone. Technology is improving, I suppose, our teaching methods in that it's not only inside in the classroom, but it's also outside of the classroom. Classes integrate together, like my Simon now it has variations of software architecture, software testing, programming, OOP, and various other modules linked in together. And all the skills you get from all those modules, they all come together to help you do these assignments and to gain practice the skills in real life. Like teamwork and that we do, it gives you all the skills to be able to go into the workforce and have that social connection, be able to understand people. We've got to be consciously aware that our students are going out into workplaces that are changing on a daily basis. So their skills must be those which are flexible enough to actually adapt to new work trends, to new work demands, and that their ability to actually be able to learn how to learn on the job is one of the things I think for the 21st century workplace which is most relevant.